Hello everyone, it's Dan, and I got a fun video for you this week. It's probably not a surprise, but I am a huge fan of Adventure Time, I have unrestricted access to 3D printing, and some of my best friends 3D model. When you put those together, you're gonna come out with some sweet props. I'm gonna show you how I made Marceline's base axe from Adventure Time. Let's get into it, shall we? I started off by 3D printing all of the pieces and then I laid them out. I took a threaded rod and I screwed it into the head of the guitar. I laid this out across the guitar and made a mark of where I wanted it to go. Using an angle grinder, I very carefully cut it in half. I then put the threaded rod into a drill and then screwed this through the entire neck of the guitar and shoved it into the body. I screwed the head of the guitar onto the neck. Using a soldering iron, I melted all of the seams together. I then went back with my 3D pen and filled in all of the seam holes. I started with 60 grit, I then went to 80 grit, and then to 120 grit using my orbital sander. I used my Dremel to sand all of the support areas that my orbital sander couldn't reach. After sanding everything down, I used Bondo Spot Filler to fill in all of the little holes, the nooks, and the crannies. Using Duplicolor Filler Primer, I coated the entire guitar in an even coat and then let it dry. Once it was dry, I started with 220 grit and then moved to 320 grit to sand the entire piece. Using 400 grit sandpaper, I sanded in all of the areas that I couldn't reach with the orbital sander. Once all of the sanding was complete, I used a matte black to coat the entire guitar. After the black dried, I used Montana Black Cardinal Paint to coat the body. As you can see, I clearly didn't show you that part on the video, but I went ahead and I taped off all of the red and then used Montana Black Brown and coated the entire neck. I taped off the brown and then coated the head of the guitar in the cardinal red as well. Once everything was done drying, I went ahead and I peeled off all the tape. I used my resin printer to print all of the small pieces for this guitar. I then taped off the guitar and then used Duralumin to paint the silver coating on everything. I used a soldering iron to open the holes and then used super glue to attach all of the pieces. The same went for the main parts on the face of the guitar. I used super glue on the inside of it and then pushed all of the pieces into their respected areas. I think they're called bridges, but in order to paint them, I just used some silver paint and then carefully hand painted everything with a paintbrush. I then widened all the holes at the head of the guitar and pushed in all of the string holders into their spot. Once everything was in place, all I had to do was just weather. I did this using black and brown oil paints. I used a paintbrush and black oil paint and smeared it into all of the different areas. I then went behind it and used a paper towel and wiped all of it away while leaving some in the little nooks and crannies. In order to add a little bit of rust, I used the brown oil paint and put it on top of all the chrome pieces. After wiping this away, the brown was still left behind and left a dirty residue. I then went ahead and used the black and brown oil paint and washed the entire guitar. Huzzah! Hey everyone, we're gonna swap from voiceover to me talking during filming. It's been a few months since I actually picked this back up. I'm just kind of tired of it staring at me from the corner of my room. I've done all the oil paint weathering on here and I'm very happy with it, but I need all the strings to be put on. I was thinking about getting actual guitar strings. What I came up with was silver TPU that is very old and I haven't used. So I'm gonna run this and see how well it works. Might have to drill these holes out a bit. Hope I don't break the resin part, but I kind of have this like diamond bit Dremel attachment. Remember, always use safety. Another like wrap around up here. Wow. All of the strings are on and we need to weather. I'm gonna use the same oil paint. And there are the strings. All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I need to thank one of my best friends, Isaac, 9toad3d on Instagram. He was a huge help and modeled this for me after I kind of bothered him way too much into making it because I kind of wanted to make this. 
Even though it's not a real guitar, I still think it's sweet, and this will go perfectly on the prop wall. Uh, as always, if you guys have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below. If not, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.